In this example, I need to simplify these two expressions here. And these expressions are similar in form to those that you will obtain when solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So looking at the first example, I have 6 minus the square root of negative 63 all divided by 18. Now be very careful with expressions that look like this. It is so tempting to reduce the 6 with the 18, but 6 is not a common factor of the whole numerator, so I cannot reduce this 6 and this 18. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is simplify the square root of negative 63. So I have 6 minus, and when you have the square root of a negative number, the first thing you do is pull out the square root of negative 1 as i. So I have i times the square root of 63, all divided by 18. Next, I need to simplify the square root of 63, so let's factor 63. Two numbers that multiply together to give me 63, 9 and 7 work, and 9 is a perfect square, leave it alone, 7 is prime. So I can write my expression as 6 minus i times the square root of 9 times 7, all divided by 18. And this is going to give me 6 minus, the square root of 9 is 3, so I'm going to have minus 3i, the square root of 7 can't be simplified, so just multiply by the square root of 7, all divided by 18. Now the simplest way to reduce this is to break this up into two terms. So I have 6 divided by 18 minus 3i the square root of 7 divided by 18. Now I can reduce this 6 with this 18. 6 goes into 6 once, into 18 3 times. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 18 6 times. So I'm going to get 1 third minus 1 times i, which is just i times the square root of 7, all divided by 6. And that is the answer to part a. Now, one thing I want to point out, at this stage, we could have simplified by factoring a 3 out of the numerator and then reducing. But I think it's a lot easier to separate it into two different terms. The second example is 8 minus the square root of 96, all divided by 4. This has a similar format to my first example, and just like in the first example, I cannot reduce the 4 with the 8 because 8 is not a factor of the whole numerator. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is simplify the square root of 96. I need to factor 96. There are many, many different ways of doing it. I'm just going to do this one by prime factorization. 2 divides into 96 48 times. Still an even number. 2 divides into 48 24 times. Still even. 2 divides into 24 12 times. Keep going. 2 divides into 12 6 times and 6 is 2 times 3. So I'm going to group these two twos together and these two twos together. And then I get left with this 2 times 3. So my expression is going to become 8 minus, instead of the square root of 96, I'm going to have 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 times 3 is 6, all divided by 4. So this gives me 8 minus the square root of this 4 is 2, the square root of this 4 is 2, so I have 2 times 2 outside the radical, and the square root of 6 does not simplify, so it's multiplied by the square root of 6, all divided by 4. 
So I have 8 minus 2 times 2 is 4 times the square root of 6, all divided by 4. And the simplest way to reduce this is to break it up. So I'm going to have 8 divided by 4 minus 4 times the square root of 6, all divided by 4. Now on the first term, 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 twice, so I have 2 over 1, which is just 2, minus on the second term, the 4's reduce, I get minus 1 times the square root of 6 divided by 1, which is just the square root of 6. So the answer to part B is 2 minus the square root of 6.